In this video, we're going to talk through how to approach EDUCAS English Language Component 2, Question 5. This question will test you on Assessment Objective 1, an AO which has already appeared twice in this exam paper, in Question 1 for 3 marks and Question 3 for 3 marks. To round these marks up to 10, we need another AO1 question, but this time worth 4 marks. This is where Question 5 comes in. Even though this question tests the same AO as previous questions, there's a difference. For this question, you need to select and synthesize evidence from different texts. To understand what's being asked of you, let's now break down the AO. Select means to choose or retrieve, and synthesize means to merge or bring together. So all you need to do is the same as for question 1 and question 3, but on two texts. In other words, locate and retrieve the answers from both texts. In previous years, this question has been introduced in a few different ways. These include According to these two writers, how? Briefly explain in your own words what we learn. Using information from both texts, explain briefly in your own words what? And using information from both texts, explain briefly in your own words how? Example 3 and 4 are pretty similar, with the exception of the W's, what and how. As you can see, you're required to use information from both source A and source B. If you don't, you haven't answered the question, and sadly, your marks will be limited to a band 1 response, or 1 out of potential 4 marks. The number of points you need to take from the texts depends on the number of marks available. As this question is always worth 4 marks, you should always make 4 points. But how many you take from each text is up to you, and depends on the sources and the information within them. You could have 2 points from source A and 2 from source B, or 3 from source A and 1 from source B. But the only problem with the second example structure, taking 3 from source A and 1 from source B, is that if your singular point from source B is incorrect, you'll no longer have answered the question. The question asks you to use information from both texts, so if your one point from source B is wrong, you've only made correct points about source A. Unfortunately, this would result in your overall understanding, and therefore your mark, being limited to one mark. So if you can, try to aim for a similar number of points per text. Now, let's take a look at an example question in full and think about how you'd begin to produce an answer. This question asks, using information from both texts, explain briefly in your own words what is cruel about the treatment of prisoners. A full response might go something like this. In source A, prisoners are taken away from their parents by people they don't know. In source B, they spend three years in rugged isolation. In source B, they also limit prisoners' movement and prevent them from making eye contact with any other prisoners. As you can see, this answer has used one point from source A and three from source B, and has accurately selected four key points from the two texts to answer the question. All of the evidence shows the treatment of prisoners as cruel, a key word from the question. It's made four accurate points for four marks. What's important to recognise here is that this question is not a comparison question, so please don't make it harder for yourself. You're listing, like question 1 in component 1. You're doing the same thing here, but on two texts. So this means you shouldn't be looking for similarities and differences between the texts. This skill doesn't appear until question 6. Instead, just list your answers, while making it really clear which text you're referring to for each point. You can do this by stating the source it's from, source A or source B, the text type, such as article, diary or autobiography, or using the writer's last names. Finally, although the question asks for you to explain briefly in your own words, you are allowed to use evidence from the extracts. Sometimes this is easier than rewording what's happening for yourself, because it stops you from rewording inaccurately. We'll leave it there. For a select and synthesize question with example student responses, why not have a look at the EDUCAS style component 2 paper attached to this pod and watch our example responses video for question 5. Good luck!